Hi guys, we're in Bago and we're only going to be here for one day because we have a sleeper bus going out tonight to Inlay Lake. We came here from Jaitio on a bus that took about three hours and cost us 5,000 jot each. So the way to travel around here is just by shared taxi. You don't need to run a motorbike or hire a private driver. They'll try to like coerce you into doing that as soon as you get off the bus here. Don't do it. It's really expensive. There's absolutely no need to. All you need to do is keep like 200 jot with you and every time you hop on one of the shared taxis, the driver will take you pretty much any pagoda or any like temple that you want to go to for just 200. The zone fee here is 10,000 jot. That is mandatory. You'll be asked to pay that at the first pagoda you go to and then every pagoda after that will check your ticket. So the city is sectioned off into two parts as far as pagodas go. On the right side of the city there were two pagodas and the Golden Palace. The Golden Palace wasn't really... Yeah, I would say you could probably skip it. I mean, you might as well because it's included in the entrance fee if you have the time, but it was not a highlight for us. Yeah, it wasn't that impressive. Um, the other pagoda was called Shui Mada, and that was really cool, really pretty. There were a lot of locals who wanted to take pictures with us. <laughs> I think we were the only foreigners that I saw. Yeah. There were some monks that wanted to take pictures with us. <clears throat> One monk, he had been a monk for 15 years, he told me, and he taught us about meditation. That was pretty cool. The other side of the bridge was my favorite pagoda, it was Shui Ta Leong. Uh, this one has two reclining Buddhas and it was my absolute favorite because on the reclining Buddha statues you get to see the bottom of their feet and they're always decorated with these really cool like jewels and designs. If you do go to the Golden Palace, there's a little restaurant that we ate at that was actually really really cheap oh, that's right. and really really good and they were very excited to have foreigners because maybe we're the first Western people that they've ever fed. Probably. <laughs> and they loaded us up with some good food. Mm -hmm. It's actually really funny because if you think about most places in Southeast Asia, usually they charge foreigners more, I mean for anything, like especially the food. But it was funny because here in Myanmar, we've kind of noticed that I honestly think some small restaurants will literally charge us less because mm -hmm. they're like so excited to have us there and they always give us gifts. So like we're eating and they'll like bring extra food or water and be like, oh, this is a gift for you. No, they call it present. Oh, present. That's right. They call it present. And it's really funny because like this one, for example, we got food and it was so good that we decided to get it to go for the bus. So we got the same meal also to go. And because they had given us presents and cooked us all this food, we were like, oh, we'll tip them, which also like people hardly ever do here. And it's so funny because we try to tip them and give them a little extra money. And they're always like, oh no, please don't. And then we'll like force them to do it, to take the money. And then they'll try to give us something else, like another present in return. And we're like, no, that's not how it works. Bago is not on the average travelers to visit list, but we really, really liked it. And if you have a day to spare, we highly recommend you go. As always, thanks again for liking and subscribing, and tune in to our next video. Thanks guys.